the slow, ponderous movement of this giant crawler transporter from the Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center, Florida, begins another mission for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's launch and flight control teams. The mission of NASA's unmanned Apollo 6 will test the Saturn V for the second time. The world's largest launch vehicle, generating seven and one-half million pounds of thrust at liftoff, is scheduled to roar from Launch Complex 39 no earlier than April 3, 1968. The early sequence of the flight calls for first stage engine cutoff to come some two minutes and 30 seconds into the mission. Immediately following first stage cutoff, separation and ignition of the second stage occurs. At about three minutes and five seconds into the mission, the launch escape system is jettisoned, its role of spacecraft protector no longer needed. At eight minutes, 37 seconds into the flight, the second stage shuts down. That event is closely followed by ignition of the third stage. The third stage engine will burn about two and one half minutes, pushing itself, the lunar module test article, and the Apollo command and service modules into a circular orbit around the Earth at near 100 nautical miles altitude. The flight control team on the ground will be hard at work during two orbits as they check the third stage, the spacecraft, and all systems aboard all vehicles. A fully remoted network of ground stations will be exercised for the first time, both for communications from the spacecraft and for the relaying of commands from the Mission Control Center in Houston to a programmer aboard the spacecraft which replaces a crew on this flight. Near the end of the second revolution, when all checks have been satisfactorily completed, the second burn of the third stage engine will be commanded. The engine will ignite and start the stage toward a planned apogee or high point of close to 279,000 miles from the surface of the Earth. After the burn is completed, the third stage will pitch back 180 degrees and the command and service modules will separate from it, then slow down by firing the service propulsion engine in a retrograde attitude. The high point reached by the spacecraft will be about 12,000 miles. The third stage will continue alone into deep space. Near the end of the mission, the service propulsion engine is fired to speed up the spacecraft to a velocity which subjects the command module to lunar return heat loads as it slams into the Earth's atmosphere. The prime recovery area is planned in the Pacific Ocean several hundred miles from Hawaii, nine hours and 50 minutes after the mission of Apollo 6 began. 